Just wanted to give a short tour of our little kitchen building named Mise en Place. This will uh, mostly be kitchen and common area, place to eat and cook. We'll also keep, <clears throat> we'll keep, uh, we'll have a closet in the back, uh, keep our clothes warm and dry and linens and place to have all the privacy to change our clothes and get dressed and things. Uh, there's a little loft above behind those clear story windows for my daughter to have a place to spread out. Not necessarily a sleeping loft, although it could be used that way. Uh, it's more of a place for her to just spread out and have some space because there's not a lot of floor space down below. So that's um, a place for her to uh, play, have friends over, um, keep probably her clothes and her things as she gets older. Um, You'll have to use your imagination. There will be a, another shed roof, that uh, a larger shed roof that will match the small ones over the windows that will uh, be tw about 12 feet wide and about 8 feet uh, out from the building that will co be for covering a little porch, covered porch, um, right in the middle there. Again, about 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 eight feet by twelve feet. Um, it'll, the roof will attach right between the clear story windows and the lower group of windows. Um, there will be a shower, shower, laundry, and toilet area behind the building, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, the building is uh, eight by nineteen. It's 8.6 by 19.6 overall, <clears throat> and it's uh, it'll probably wind up at about uh, 13 foot 6 tall to the peak from the road uh, when it's uh, sitting on the road on its wheels. Um, it's going to have shakes, rough split shakes for siding, um, and it's almost ready for that. It's just waiting for a few more little details before I can do siding. And uh, I'll take you around to the back of the building and uh, show you where our shower area is going to be. Shower, laundry, and composting toilet will be back here. Um, you, know, you see those two vertical two by sixes. That's about where the toilet will be. It's about four feet wide right there and it'll come out about eight feet. It'll have a little hand washing basin in there and a composting toilet. And then the next eight feet or so will be a um, laundry area with a countertop along that wall and a efficient washing machine below and then there'll be some maybe racks or something in there to hang clothes from for drying. Uh, we'll be off grid so we won't bother with a dryer. Uh, we'll just have a, a efficient washing machine um, in here. So that's essentially what that room will be for. Um, it'll be more multi-purpose. You'll be able to use, use it for other things too. So it'll be 8 by 8 And then there's a section in here um, that's about four foot by eight foot, maybe five foot by eight foot, that uh, will have a shower room. Um, it'll be just one big shower stall. And um, uh, there will be, in this wall, there will be three uh, hot and cold, frost free faucets that'll take care of all of my water uses um, because this building back here won't exist until we find a permanent site for the building so I didn't want to have to worry about freezing pipes um, in the meantime until I can get the building built and uh, we'll immediately you know, once we have the building plumbed we'll immediately have um, hot running water back here we can take showers with or whatever so that'll be nice and um, since you can't see it very well, 
This is uh, where the axles are for the trailer. Down here, I hid them behind the trim. They're kind of tucked into the building, so when the building is set down, you won't be able to see it. There's going to be a chimney up here for our wood cook stove, uh, which you can't see, but I'll show you in the next video the interior. And um, just so I don't make this too long. But if you can imagine, uh, again, a covered porch out here, that'll help the aesthetics of the building a little bit to uh, make it a little wider. It'll just be an open area, which might be a, an extension of our kitchen, like a summer kitchen. So we can do some cooking out there without heating the house, because again, we're, we're gonna be cooking mostly with a wood cook stove, and um, we won't wanna use it in this little building certain times a year because it's just going to be too warm. So I think that just about covers the exterior and um, you can look at the next video to see the interior. Thank you.